and gentlemen, the following tag team event. It is set for one fall. Introducing the number one. First, at over 400 pounds, a goal of red. This guy's the number He's from Dallas, Texas. The Trash Masher. It's like the guy's gone through about 600 pounds of little Debbie's. Hey, hey, reversal now. Look at this. Fireman's carry take over by Star. And Orndorff quickly. Boy, he's upset about that, but that was a tremendous counter move by him. Now that's Paul's only flaw is his temper. He cannot, look at the emotion in him. He cannot control his temper, which helps him a lot of times, but it can hurt him. I don't like to call this team Roma and Orndorff or Orndorff and Roma. I like to call them the home record. But you know the divorce rate is up all over the country now. Why, because of them? Oh, yes. Women are leaving their husbands in droves. Why do you think Princess Di came here? She's not looking for some guy with big ears that eats fish and chips. She's looking for the home record. Now, well, well, now Mark Starr, a nice looking young man as well. And doesn't seem like the trash masher wants in. Oh, yeah, here we go. Someone's run, someone has run the dinner bell. He's in. The Shockmaster or Uncle Fred is in in this tag team match. Fans, if you just joined us, a lot has gone on and a lot will go on in this program. Steamboat was attacked by Vader at the end of his match. Flair paused the arena here this week talking to Commissioner Nick Bockwinkle and said, I want back in the match for Super Brawl. Forget about the injury. Nick Bockwinkle, I understand, talking to members of the championship committee. I don't know if anything can be done, but we will have more on this during the course of this program. Well, you know, Flair's got a lot of pull here in WCW. I mean, the man's got all the credentials in the world. He's done it 12 times. 
right? 11, 12, 15, who knows how many. You lose track after two. But, I mean, my goodness, this man isn't thinking right. He's going to end his own career. He's going to make a mistake. The mistake of his life. Well, still, as we stand right now, the match is still off. And Flair, a very adamant Ric Flair, wants back in. Look at this. Both Arndorf and Roma trying to send the Shockmaster down with the knuckle lock. But he's taking both men down. Oh, what power! Nothing a gut shot won't help, though. Put him right in the buffet. There's a double pickup. Uh-oh. A tempered one. Look at this. He's got them both by the back of the neck. One and two go down. This man is a tag team in himself. Just too much man there. And both men doing all they can to take him off his feet. And the trash match is a big guy, all right. And here comes Star. Now we've got all four going at it. And Nick Patrick trying to restore some order. Give it. Oh, they sent Star in. Star being held by the Shockmaster. Down go both Roma and Orndorff. Now what is going on? Is the Trash Master wrestling uh, Mark Star, or is Mark Star and the Trash Master wrestling Orndorff and Roma? Or are the, or you, forget it, Tom. Well, your, your second one was right, Bobby. And here comes the tag, and here's the proof right here. Mark Star with a double action on the blow. Team of Mark Star and the Smasher are working pretty good together. They are. The Shockmaster. Shockmaster, pardon me. Back into the corner, and here they go. Arnold and Roma under the tutelage of the Assassin in a short period of time, becoming one of the top contenders to the World Tag Team Championship. Whoa. A pickup by Mark Star. And an atomic drop. He makes a tag. Here comes the big guy lumbering back in again. And down goes Roma. Down goes Roma. He picks up Roma. Look at this. Strength. Not only strength. Talk about the endurance. Look at the size of him. Oh my! The double headbutt! You know what the Fred's middle name is? What? Dumpster. Ah, wait a minute. On the outside goes Orndorff. He picks up Roma. Uh-oh. The old misdirection play, and for the first time, the point of the elbow behind the ear gets the big guy on his feet. Seems to me Uncle Fred looks a lot like the Buffalo Bills. Down, honey. Easy, Bobby. We got a lot of Bills fans watching this program. Both of them tuned in, I guess. Into the midsection. A reverse chin lock. Boy, Dallas must be happy, huh? I guess they are. They beat a team that everybody else could beat. Wow, that's something. Bridge the nut. We got it. Easy now. We got a lot of Cowboy fans watching this program as well. Yeah, Tex Ritter and a guy named Autry. From behind. And the Shockmaster being double teamed here, and you see Nick Patrick warning. As Roma sizes up the big guy and drops the elbow. I think the big guy's looking for the shell answer man now. He's out of gas. Yeah, that shirt is uh, really hiked up on him here. He's losing the old shirt. Oh, he I thought he just had a tank top on. Or one of those halter tops. Or Maybe not. Please, Bobby. The, the Shockmaster, as Roma pulls him up by the hair, that's, I would think you want to keep him down on the mat. That's right. If you want him up, call Triple A. Don't pick him up yourself. Side of the head, Shockmaster staggered back in the corner right there for Orndorff to hold him and push him back, and Roma having his way with this 400-pound guy right now. I'll tell you, the Smasher has no idea where he's at. Oh, yes, he does. Right to the bread basket of Roma on his knees and brings in Mark Stark. Now the youngster. Right hands. Sending Roma a big drop kick. You talking about ability. This youngster can really go, and he's a fresh man. But he doesn't have the experience of Roma and Orndorff. You're right about that. That may be his only downfall here. But each week, as he succeeds, as he wrestles like this, he gains more experience. And look at him now. Big back head chop. Oh, he was kicked right in the kidneys. Whoa. And he's hurting. Up slowly, though. Still trying to get some offense here. Sasson's been behaving. You're not in his case this week. Well, there you go. He doesn't do anything wrong. He's just a spectator. 
A rake to the eyes. His illegal objects, if you will, in the knee pads or in the in his own mask have certainly helped his team to a win. But you can't say you've really seen anything, though. You just, you just see him fooling around in the knee pads. Seen fooling around. A vertical suplex. Shoulder block. Oh, that time again, this time, he hit the same spot around the kidneys. A shoulder by Roma. And now the assassin. Yes, sir. Well, we got the pile drivers. The assassin moves on the way back to the corner. And this one is up. He didn't get him good with the pile driver, but he got him good enough to jam his neck. The heartbreaker. Yes. Well, they may be the heartbreakers, the but home record. or whatever. Give them a uh, call of winners, and they're going to make their way to talk to Mean Gene Oakland here in just a few moments. A big tag team went for him, Bobby. Look at this pile driver. Orner's got him set, but he gets his head out, tries to protect himself, but he does jam the back of his head and compresses his neck. Uh, put a tag on his toe. That ham and egger's done. Your winner, Paul Orndorff, Paul Roma, the mask assassin, now at ringside of talking to the one and only Mean Gene Oakland here on Saturday night.